All right, let's look into the film. In this video, we will be looking at Lyle Collins at guard. Uh, of course, this is only wishful thinking because I think that he's still going to play right tackle. But, man, don't you miss that? Taking 340-pound Big Maybane and just throwing him around like a rag dog. You know, uh, that aggressive mentality next to Tyron Smith is everything. And I wish the Cowboys were able to develop that, right? Because that mentality goes a long way. It's the mentality for me. Watch. Mm, peeling out the next person, going to the second level, and peeling out the other. And we can see it better from the other view. That is what we're missing as it relates to a mentality. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Lyle Collins should not be a right tackle. But it's the mindset for me that gets everything going. And on top of that, Cowboy Nation, think about this. When we had a big L.A. out there. Man, that's what we envision with Lyle Collins. Not this finesse guy that playing right tackle. And I'm not saying that he's a horrible right tackle, by the way. I just want the Cowboys to present the best five. And I think that, man, you got to figure out a way to get this back out there. Man, you know, that play right here speaks volumes. You can probably look up all of Connor Williams' film. We pretty much will not find highlights like this. You will not find highlights like this, and I'm not saying that you glorify the highlights, but what I'm saying is that I got a $100 cash app if you can find multiple clips and put them together. Man, you know, like this. This is a dominant guy down the field. Lyle Collins was a beast, baby. He was a beast. Watch how they make this cutback lane available by sitting off of that edge right here. Huh? Look at that cutback lane, boy. Hey, running back did some work on that one. And I liked what those guys did on the edge there. Watch how they peel this thing open so that the runner can just walk right on in for the touchdown untouched. Man, imagine if that was Ezekiel Elliott. This is 2015, by the way. This is rookie Lyle Collins. That's all I'm saying, Cowboy Nation. That's all I'm saying. Lyle Collins should be at guard or at least considered. And then they can figure their other things out. But if not, if he's going to be a right tackle, let him be it. But I just want to show you guys that he can play left guard. That was his rookie year. And just for a little reference here, rookie year, played at guard. Second year, 2016, Ron Leary came back, did a wonderful job. And he was pretty much um, uh, watching and developing and learning. Learning from Ron Leary. And then Ron Leary got hurt. And then I believe Collins finished the last three games out. And then they switched him to right tackle. 17, 2017, Lyle Collins struggled. It was a struggle fest. Now, Lyle Collins did improve year to year. 2017, he gave up five sacks. However, he improved a little bit, but he was still struggling at right tackle. And then you move over to 2018, he gave up eight sacks and he was struggling. And then at the latter part of the year, we saw the improvements. And the overall team improved, by the way, in 2018. And the Cowboys were able to make it to the playoff, arguably. 2019 was Lyle Collins' best year. Unfortunately, the following year, the pandemic happened, and of course, he was out of shape. But 2019, considered his best year, only gave up two sacks. There are some things that you can look at and say, yeah, he's a dominant guy, right tackle. The good thing is, in 2015, he gave up zero sacks. In 2015, his rookie year, he didn't allow nobody to get to the quarterback. 2020, he didn't play at all. So uh, I, I think that Lyle Collins is an excellent, excellent football player. Put it like this. He would have been a great guard, but he's a good tackle right now. He's a good tackle. And I'm not saying that Terrence Steele is better. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you go into a bar fight, I want to bring my best five. That's all I'm saying. Somebody got to go. Tyler Biotish, Connor Williams, they doing okay. But, man, I'm bringing my best five to this bar fight. There's no way. There's no way that you look at the tape and you say Terrence Steele is not playing better than Connor Williams or Tyler Biotish at this point. That's my stance. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And I'm waiting for y'all to come out with that Connor Williams tape, you know, uh, $100 cash app, you know, <laughs> and then we can go tit for tack for who's better at guard, Connor Williams. And you got long length of evidence of tape for Connor Williams because he played 
in that role longer. Like, like, let's be real. Lyle Collins only played a season and three games at left guard. <laughs> Don't have me go digging through some tape now. DC for life. Salute.